1953, two independent Protestant scholars challenged Albert Schweitzer's conclusion that the historical Jesus didn't matter. One was German scholar Ernst Kasemann, who died in 1998. He is the creator of the criterion of double dissimilarity. We'll explore what that means tomorrow morning and its importance. The other was American scholar James Robinson, who recently died. He is perhaps the world's greatest Q scholar and the world's greatest Nag Hammadi library scholar. That's a bunch of treasure trove of Gnostic documents that were uncovered at Oxyrhynchus, Oxyrhynchus papyrus, uh, in the 40s. Amazing story. I don't have time to give that to you, but that's an awesome story, too. By the 1950s, both scholars, Kesemann and Robinson, were oblivious to the other and each other's writings. Nonetheless, both arrived at the same conclusion and they had the same attitude as far as the quest for the historical Jesus was concerned. It's time to pick it up again. In his 1951 inaugural address on assuming professorship at the University of Göttingen, while admitting it is extremely difficult to extract ordinary historical information from the Gospels, Ernst Kesemann asserted, by the way, Andres, are you here, brother? I'm here. Because you came late, <laughs> I need you to do us a favor, brother. I want you to read Kesemann's text, please, if you don't mind. I know, but, but I love your accent, brother. <laughs> Sorry to pick on you. Uh, but conversely, neither am I prepared to concede that in the face of these facts, the fetism and skepticism must have the last word and lead us to complete disengagement of interest from the early Jesus. Earthly Jesus. If this were to happen, we should either be failing to grasp the nature of the primitive G the Christians' concern. Meaning the concern of the earliest church, the earliest body of Christ, okay? The New Testament communities. Um, concerned with the identity between the exalted and humiliated Lord. The Christ of faith and the Jesus who was crucified. Or else we should be emptying concern of any real content as did the docetus these are the the early 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 heresy right and it's still prevalent that uh jesus was only inhuman in disguise continue brother sorry we got a whole bunch more coming up <laughs> could you continue andres i'm sorry we should we should also be overlooking the fact that three are still pieces of the synoptic tradition which the historian has to acknowledge as authentic if he wishes to remain the historian at all. My concern is to show that out of the uh, obscurity of the life story of Jesus, certain characteristics, traits in his preaching stand out in relatively sharp relief. There's something we can get from the Gospels, the Synoptic Gospels, Mark, Matthew, and Luke, that tells us what Jesus historically was like, okay? And that primitive Christianity united its own message with peace. Wow, Kesemann says what? There's some kind of connection. Something going on there. Interesting. Here's Ernst Kesemann with his family. I want to give you, to show you, these aren't just names. I want to give you a little, a little piece of a historical slice of life situation here. I want you to touch this a little bit. What a beautiful daughter he has next to him, right? You all see that? Kesemann's address was published in 1953. He accepted discontinuity, ultimately. Jesus of history does not equal the Christ of faith. But yet, he seems to imply there was some kind of connection. He argued that even though we know that the Jesus of history and the Christ of faith are not the same thing, and also know that the first quest was a complete bust, we now have far more research accomplished and many more historical methods and models at our disposal to begin a new quest. A quick and somewhat dark side that provides human context to these facts of academics and faces of academics. Elizabeth Kesemann was Ernst's daughter. From an early age she had learned from her father that Jesus meant freedom.
There she is with her pop. In Latin America, Elizabeth K. Simon campaigned in various ways for the improvement of living conditions of the destitute population. She took it to heart that Jesus meant freedom and she wanted to live that. She participated in literacy campaigns, organized support for families in need, assisted people subjected to political persecution to flee the country, and worked for political and Christian organizations. She worked ecumenically. Though a Lutheran, she worked outside of her tradition with Catholics and other Protestants. In a country where priests were being tortured and murdered for their Christian commitment, this kind of involvement was a death warrant. Her concept of Christian solidarity had led her to lose her life in exchange for a world with more social justice. In 1976, the Argentinian army took power by a military coup and an era of systematic persecution and assassination of members of the political opposition began. This was a regime that caused 30,000 people to disappear. Torture and rape of pregnant women was common. Elizabeth K. Simon was abducted in March 1977 and following weeks of torture, she was shot dead in Monte Grand near Buenos Aires on May 24, just after her 30th birthday. <coughs> and Ernst, in the beginning was the interpretation Ernst Kasemann's subsequent theological writings acquired a more radical, often bitter, edge after his daughter's murder. The result of this second quest was new biographies of Jesus came bursting out of the woodwork. See, Jesus means freedom, that's Ernst Kasemann. But this time they were being composed with many more highly sophisticated historical methods that had been unknown in Schweitzer's era. And so it was a new ball game with exciting new scholarly tools and toys to dive back into the quest for the Jesus of history. But this time it was a second quest, a new quest. And it was so exciting that even musicians Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice even made a rock opera about the second quest. watching just continue the playlist for the next part of the study if you have further questions this is good they will get addressed so keep watching if you found value please subscribe like and share as always questions comments and criticisms are most welcome god bless you